Let's get more now on how American business is dealing with the economic shock of coronavirus. Starbucks is trying to stay open where possible, stepping up for its employees. And Rebecca Jarvis spoke to CEO Kevin Johnson about how the company is serving its customers and its workers. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, George. That's right. We all want answers right now about our jobs, about the economy. And Kevin Johnson, the CEO of Starbucks, employs nearly 350,000 Americans here in the U.S. And he's seen the impact of the coronavirus directly through his work. It's a morning ritual upended by the coronavirus. While many on YouTube focus on recreating their favorite coffee drinks, Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson, who made the decision a week ago to shutter all U.S. locations and keep only drive throughs open, is focusing on how to keep his workforce healthy and employed. You have almost 350,000 employees, those partners as you call them, here in the United States. You just made a pledge to those employees saying, we will pay you whether your store is open or closed. What led to that decision, Kevin? I wanted to provide some economic certainty to Starbucks partners. And so we made a commitment uh, to all of our Starbucks partners in the US and Canada that for the next 30 days, we will pay them uh, even if their store is closed or even if they are just uncomfortable coming into work. Serving up a little normalcy to healthcare workers. What are you hearing from the front lines where you're serving that free coffee to first responders? We hear they are so appreciative and, you know, for them just to get some recognition that they're appreciated in our communities. And applying lessons learned in China, where Starbucks witnessed firsthand the excruciating toll and impact of the disease. The company closed locations there in January and has now reopened most of them. I think a lot of Americans right now are very on edge given what they're seeing in the jobs picture. How long do you believe it will be before the U.S. economy recovers from this? Well, you know, I'm going to leave that to the economists to predict. What I what I do know is that, hey, we're in week nine in China. And, you know, through week nine, we have 95 percent of our stores open. We've got traffic growing and, and things are trending in the right direction here in the U.S. We're only in week two. And uh, I do believe that we're going to see a similar type of, of pattern unfold, which, you know, for me, it just says, look, we kind of have a 90 day period where we're going to go through uh, dealing with this and, get, and containing or mitigating the virus spread. And then we're going to begin uh, community by community where it's appropriate to get back to opening stores and get back to the process where we're on, on the path to recovery. And so, uh, you know, it's this is all doable. We can overcome this adversity and we're going to do it together. We will get back. And thank you to all of those Starbucks workers and all the people out there working in the grocery stores on the front lines right now. George, we we're, will get back. We will recover. We are so glad you got through that without waking up your baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's just in the other, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll I have right the monitor back. right next to me right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.